Hey guys, it's Marcy, and I'm doing a quick drop by uh, on a dare from Virginia. Virginia, this one's for you. Regarding the mini challenge in the challenge number three of the Spring Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge. That is a mouthful. Uh, the Spring Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge is being hosted by Dear Julie Julie and Kara Brandon. And within the challenge, they have what they call mini challenges. This one involved making six different items or six different elements using stripes, flowers, polka dots, words, trim, and stitches. So here's what I've done. Here I just made a library, small library card out of a piece of cardstock. I stitched around the bottom edge of it. I used polka dot washi tape there, striped washi tape there. I tore out some book page to go under the flower put a flower here and more book page there and a little bit of rickrack trim right there. Another one I made was this heart tuck spot. I used my uh, die cutting machine for that and it may be difficult to see on camera, but I've got die cut stitches around the hearts on that one. Uh, so I placed, had one big heart and a slightly smaller heart out of cardstock. The, the purple hearts I stamped with a word stamp. Uh, the striped heart was also done on the die cutting machine. I had to actually cover a piece of paper with washi tape, uh, and then cut it to get the stripes, and then I used um, flowers from Tim Holtz, I think it's the Botanical Ephemera pack, for my flowers, and then the trim obviously tucked behind. Then I had this one, a journaling card and it again is on a piece of card stock this on top of it is a playing card that I distressed and uh, actually scratched up a little bit with a piece of sandpaper to distress it used a sticker that says spring and had a flower on it put my trim here, and I, I I die cut the big rectangle out, and it was a die cut that had the holes in it, and so I punched the, when I punched the, through the holes, got the little chads off, I hand stitched around that using some embroidery thread. This one is a tag of, I stitched all the way around it, striped cardstock here. I used a stencil and some distress ink to put my polka dots in. I had a white paper daisy that I used the same ink on to, I pulled the center out of it and used the distress ink on it to give it a matching color. And then I just used a brad to give it a center. Here I use words, never give up, stay strong. Today is full of possibilities. And writing space on the back. This one is a matchbook cover um, stitched around the front cover. Used black and gold washi tape there. Decoupaged a floral napkin there. I've got striped washi tape down here with some trim and on the inside 
Well, I've got more stripes on the inside, and I've got guest checks as the pages. Oh, and the word index, which is exactly what this will become, is sort of an index for this journal. And I'll explain that. The, that's fine. The last item is this. When this mini challenge came out, I was actually just getting ready to start my last journal for this month. This is my third and last journal for the month. And I thought, all right, starting to run out of time. Let's just see if we can make the cover work within the parameters. So I've got a book with a one inch spine and I paper covered it uh, using scrapbook paper and then a second layer of scrapbook paper that I cut out, rounded the corners, I distressed the edges, then another sheet of scrapbook paper with the polka dots on it, did the same thing, rounded the corners, distressed the edges. I went back around the edges with some antique linen distress ink just so it wouldn't be stark white. Uh, and then the same thing for this top one. The top one and this one are the same scrapbook papers, and it's just to break up those stripes and polka dots. Then I decoupaged napkin on he on top of this, uh, stitched around the smallest one and the polka dot one, uh, used some thickers stickers to write ideas. This is going to be my idea journal. And then the trim is this lace that I also used to cover the binding. So that is all six of my uh, embellishments items for the third mini challenge in the challenge. Virginia, I hope this gave you the information you were looking for. It was a lot of fun and I'll be doing a video on final flip through of this journal very shortly. Take care. Bye-bye.